Hey guys, we can see here for the live electronic music tutorials, of course, presented by WeMakeNiceMusic.com. Did I say WeMakeNiceMusic.com? This is the largest music production marketplace on the internet where you can find a lot of templates, some unique vocals, some sounds. We have a lot of remakes of really hot songs right now. So you can drop them into your top, make a remix, smash it, make a drum and bass remix, make it. Trap remix, make anything remix with the hot song. There's been vocals included that have been re-recorded, guys, and we have the coolest acapellas where you probably know right now that the mashups and things are like a big thing. So we have over 1,000 acapella re-recording of hot songs that you can put into your own track and release it, guys. Make your own cover. Let's check it out with the Weezy Nest. Anyway guys, this is episode 314 of your live electronic music tutorials and I will not be using vocal this time. I'm going to make a kind of a, like a classic house, like, like I would say early classic house with some little bit of um, some electric guitar, some sounds, you know, they're very familiar for me to early deep house, like it was still house music but it was really already in the mid 1990s and late 1990s like a deep house movement was started. I think it's really cool uh, name I can recall right away is Fred Everything, which is actually from the town I'm from, Quebec City. Fred, nice work, and he's still actually producing music, very interesting tracks. Uh, during home recording in Chicago, and uh, sorry, in, um, in Los Angeles and things like that, so uh, not in Los Angeles, sorry, San Francisco. So guys, I'm gonna make you a track, of course, in real time, and of course I'm gonna make templates for real time, Magic Home NFL Studio from this episode, the track you hear right now, hope it's cool, hope it's good, because the result of this today's episode, usually, I'm okay. So, I started this session with a little drum beat, super basic, I even added a little reverb just for fun to start, I preloaded the bass, this is the thing that I will start with for a track like that, obviously the bass line and some coffee. So let's hear this bass. It's really comfy. It's kind of so what I've done, guys. Maybe you want to try this too. Because I went into Alchemy, type search, deep house. And I brought a little bit and then I got this one. To me, it's on. Already. Okay, 
drop the volume a little bit, now that we're compressing. And like I said, guys, I have some interesting instruments here. I'm gonna start at the top. I think I'm in A. I could try to dub this bass on top. Maybe it's gonna do some results. Yeah, I think it's meant to be. Oh, the root key is actually here. Probably gonna go in the sampler. Like to cut the top a little bit. Not quite sold on this, really. I like that I can feel it out. Because I have this bass, I think it's good enough. But the guitar, I probably would like some of the slap. It's a bit too loud, a bit of reverb. exact same pattern, you know, but I just want to build a little bit of the feel. Because it's a sampler, not so much to do. Maybe I could Maybe I could just, you know, change one of the keys at the end, try to make a bit of a variation. I don't know if it was made for this, but it's, it's really uh, kind of the sound. You know, also samples have like the character of like the, for me the classic Deep House. And if you don't use Logic guys, of course we're gonna put those into the template for Able and Defense Studio. So you can have this kit and do other DAWs to play with. Right away, an idea with 
that to make a classic kind of filter effect. So in, in true deep house fashion or house music fashion, you can quartize it to get the right feel.
Yeah.